hello dreamers and welcome back to dream queen by perla <laughs> thank you guys for all your love and support thank you for liking sharing subscribing to the channel and if you haven't done so i encourage you to do so it helps with growing the channel getting the video out there for more people as well as keeping me accountable for personal readings so that information can be found down below in the description scorpio sagittarius what do we have here you're not wanting to listen You're not wanting to listen. You're not wanting to pay attention. You, you're talking yourself out of going through with something. Now, again, guys, these are general readings, so this can be in any area of your life. Um, ever since I started, I'm like focusing on the intention for your reading. My left ear started going like ballistically. Like I literally want to go in there and like. I don't know, put like a brush or something, like it's itching, like there's no tomorrow, and like my head is like itchy, everything is like itchy, but it's all like from like my neck up, so it, it is, it is more pulling to like the, the, <clears throat> excuse me, the, the listening, the seeing, the hearing, the, the perception, the listening to your spirit, so a, a lot of you have been avoiding a lot of the things within yourself a lot of intuitive nudges that have been coming up you have been kind of like either ignoring them or you have been too busy with other things um you may have been um wanting or seeking clarity in a certain area of your life and the answers are coming to you but your your mind is not silent enough to hear the whisper a lot of times yeah spirit can show us something like whoosh, right there and it's like you can't miss it but other times we have to be silent in order to allow ourselves to hear in order to allow ourselves to see and so needing to take some time throughout the day to sit in silence with yourself because a lot of you again are it's almost kind of like your mind is all over the place and you're not listening, you're not listening, you're not listening, you're not listening. That's what they keep saying. And it's like, okay, I get it. Can we just stop with the itching in the ear? Um, you've been told to take certain risks or certain opportunities and you have been ignoring them. Um, there, there is a sense here of maybe collaborating with someone, whether it is, you know, going into a relationship or um, collaborating with somebody like... Um, when it comes to work or a hobby or something, there, there is a, some type of help or some, some type of assistance that is trying to come and help you and trying to get you to where it is that you need to be, but you're not listening, so you're resisting it. Um, and, and again, this can be stemming from past experiences within those, in those spaces where, excuse me, where maybe when you collaborated or you were in relationships or whatever it is, um things didn't work out you're you're needing to remember <laughs> that you're not the same place you're not the same person that you were when you were in those places meaning your energy your your frequency is not in the same space so <clears throat> if if you're in a space where you know that you have been working on getting into alignment with a certain frequency or getting yourself up to a certain frequency so then why are you um, not trusting that where you are now like your own personal energy and your own frequency is going to allow you to attract those that are meant to be in your life um, and that you're meant to collaborate with so let's go ahead and let's pull out um, a love oracle so listening is the main thing for you. Um, <clears throat> so for your love oracle, we have the not today, not here, not dealing, hurt, avoiding a conversation, call, person, boundaries, still angry. So when we talk about the love energy, it's not just love within a relationship. This can be your own, uh, your own relationship with yourself, your relationships with others, work, hobbies, passion, etc. So there's something that you're pushing away. As much as you're asking for clarity, you're not giving yourself that space to allow the answer to come through. So it's almost kind of like you're putting, you're putting like all of your your spiritual, um, your spiritual family, whether you call them guides, ancestors, 
whatever it is that you connect to you're you're picking up the phone right because you feel and you hear the nudges but then you put them on hold and just leave them on hold um again and it may be just because of your day-to-day -day that it's becoming difficult to listen to the guidance that is coming in but needing to take that time to silence yourself silence your mind in order and silence your mouth in order to allow the clarity to come through so for tarot we have <clears throat> the Knight of Cups in the reverse, the Nine of Cups in the upright position, and then the Four of Wands. So again, you you may feel like maybe your guy is an angel, maybe spirit is not listening. Um, because you keep on asking for some clarity, but the answers are coming to you. You're just not paying attention. You're not listening. You're expecting it to come in as a huge roar or a huge, like, bang or something. Uh, and it's coming in subtle. It's coming in, like, within a whisper. And if you have the music blasting, sometimes it's very hard to hear the whisper, right? So have you ever tried having a conversation with somebody, um, like, at a nightclub or somewhere where there's, like, music blasting? It's, like, it's almost like you're yelling. And the answer that is coming to you is not going to be yelled at you. You have to make the effort to silence that music. And that music is the, the thoughts in your mind. So going into a space where you can be silenced within yourself. So let's go ahead and let's pull out an oracle card for your closing message. The human gift number 17. And this came out for someone else. So... Don't for a moment think or assume that you're you're abandoned. Let's put it this way, spiritually or anything like that. The messages are coming. The question is, are are you going to put an effort into listening? Are you going to put an effort into accepting it, right? So the human gift, I always look at it as you know the experience that we we have on this earth right sometimes we make things a lot difficult for ourselves because we choose not to listen to those little whispers those little nudges that are coming from within ourselves and you're being asked that there are other ways for information to come through there are other ways for clarity to reach you but only if you're paying attention So pay attention. That is all that I have for you for this week. Sending every single one of you love, strength, and blessing, guys. Take care. Love you all. Mwah. Bye bye.